Hi guys, how you doing? Well, I absolutely love your video responses and it's fantastic. That's what's so cool about YouTube. You can interact with each other. Um, so I encourage people to give me video responses because I find them um, much more personal. You get to know the other person that's uh, responding to you. You get to see their face, their expressions, um, their personality, and also you get to see you get to understand their questions a lot better. So, I had to write a couple of things down. Um, I got a question from Martha Williams. Um, her profile, her channel is called Sapphire Vale. And she was, um, she, she made a video response um, to my uh, merchandising video and asking me um, if her folio that she had was professional enough. Um, well, what did I have to say on that? Okay, um, it looked really good. I've been to your website. Um, is there anything you don't do or don't have? I mean, your merchandising line is, is amazing. Um, you're very good at promoting yourself. You've got so much information, good information on your website. Um, the one, one thing I'd like to talk about is galleries and what do they look for? That's a tough question in itself because there's so many different types of galleries um, as there are people. I mean, it's hard to predict exactly what gallery wants what um, at face value. The best way to approach it, I guess, is to think about if you were starting a gallery um, what type of artist would you look for? Um, at the end of the day, galleries are there to make money from the artists. And they're going to choose artists which they think will benefit them in the long run. Because they're going to spend a lot of time um, promoting you um, and developing you for the sole purpose of making money for them. And unfortunately, we cannot live without galleries and they cannot live without us. So it's, you know, that's, that's what it is. So, um, that's what I do when I, when I think about getting stuff ready for a gallery, if I'm gonna cold call a gallery. What, um, if I was a gallery, what would I be looking for? I guess I'd be looking for someone that's got some talent. I would be looking for someone that does some work that's a bit different from the ordinary, from, from what normal people do, I guess. Um, and I'd be looking for a, a variety of different artists with different styles, different mediums, different techniques, so you get a good balance. Um, so, I mean, it depends where you live and uh, to what standard of gallery may be in your area. Um, um, my best approach is to actually just cold call a gallery rather than send your stuff through the email because they get hundreds and thousands of applications that way. And I know that's the way you're probably supposed to do it, but for me, I've just, in previous, just taken my CV and samples of my work into the gallery and cold call them. And at the end of the day, art is about um, aesthetics and what's visual. And your work will sell itself if it's, if it's decent enough. It, it'll sell itself. Um, I haven't had a rejection yet from a gallery that I've cold called to, to exhibit with them. Um, uh, that's just luck, I guess, but I'm sure, you know, there is rejections to come, <laughs> but so be it. I mean, um, you got to, galleries, you know, you have to work out if your personality is suited with them and vice versa. I mean, it's, it's, you could write a book on what to do and what not to do or what to say and what not to say, see, blah, 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 blah. It goes on. Uh, I have to make sure I don't go over time. Um, so, 
What I would suggest, uh, Martha, is that um, I know that you've um, copied your original artworks, um, got prints done of them, and made them smaller and put them into a folio. What I suggest is that you try and take some of your original works as well, no matter how big they are, just for the simple fact is nothing beats the original works that you can see, touch and look at as compared to a photograph of the original work. Um, for me, if I was running a gallery, I would want the artist to bring in some original work that I could see. And um, I'm fortunate enough that I work in all different sizes. I work small and large. And so when I go to a gallery, I usually take a bunch of small works on paper and I take a couple of big canvases, um, if I can manage it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my advice for that one. For that one, so I hope that's helped out. Uh, um, oh yeah, another, I got a response from RNDRC, and that was uh, a comment posted in my Rant 2 video about um, having a dry spell and not um, being able, like, having, a, I guess, a, like a writer's block sort of thing. I think that's what, I assume that's what it's about. Um, and asking for some suggestions. Well, this is what I'd suggest. I mean, all artists have times when they're just, there's a drought, there's a dry period, you don't know what to do, or, or that. Best thing I find is when I'm feeling flat like that, I just jump online and find artists whose work inspires me. Or I go to a gallery and look at work. And then, I don't know, you get energy from looking at works you're inspired by. And that gives you ideas. Um, so, jump on and look at as many artists as you want, uh, as you can. And look at YouTube videos of artists because that inspires me when I see interviews with artists. Um, I mean, I've posted, in some of my favourites on here, I've got heaps of artists who have completely, when I watch their video, inspires me to go and do something. So, at least we'll, we'll check out my favourites. What you can also do is join an art society. Um, generally, art societies get together and um, they, get, they bring other artists in to workshop. <clears throat> well, the art size I've been with, that's, that's been the experience. And it's really good because when artists get together, it's amazing. You suddenly, everyone's the same, we're all creative. You start talking, uh, you're working together, and you get excited. Because, let's face it, an art, being an artist is a very lonely occupation. At the end of the day, it's us and our material and we don't want anyone else so when we have the opportunity to work with other artists when we do it it's just like an energy boost um, yeah uh, just one more thing just one more thing really quickly uh, Mo God Beer <coughs> Maureen asked me about what do I use to upload my videos and editing? Well, Maureen, I just use um, Windows Movie Maker. Um, and I don't know, I, I guess we, I have a pretty fast connection, uh, broadband connection, which is super fast. So I don't know if that makes a difference. But I don't do anything else except for just make them, edit it all together in Windows Movie Maker and then just um, upload it into YouTube. Um, ideally I want a Mac with iMovie because I, iMovie has a lot more features, it's a lot faster, it's a lot better and cool. But Macs are very expensive so until I um, make some money from my art I'll be sticking with Windows Movie Maker. But yeah, anyway, I'll speak to you soon.